So you didn't find a grave site, it was just a grave marker? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today, I actually made it back to Atlanta with my buddy Adam, and we're gonna be diving some bridges today in hopes of finding anything from guns, relics, basically anything that we can find. I know that this bridge is over 100 years old and we have the chance to find some really cool stuff here. But before I did this intro, let me just tell you the pain and suffering that Adam and I actually went through when we got here. Do you see all that behind us, all the tire tracks? If we look muddy, there's a, there's a good reason for that. <laughs> I was a little too confident in my two-wheel drive truck um, and we may have gotten stuck in the mud. I got a little excited. <laughs> but we got it out after like what an hour oh my gosh probably like an hour hour and a half you guys check this out adam and i actually grabbed trash from that section of the bridge right over there and literally came back and brought all the stuff look we brought tires to put underneath the tires we brought fence to put underneath the tires like we were just trying to get it out at that point even if like he would have had a flat tire. I told him I would have paid for it. If you guys are enjoying these scuba diving videos, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. Check out what. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pogo stick that we found in another episode. Um, but we're gonna walk down here, man. It just looks so good. There's so much graffiti under the bridge. There's actually um, two homeless people living underneath the bridge. I actually talked to them for a little bit. But with that said, guys, we're gonna get geared up, get in the water. It's gonna be a great day. I'm just so pumped that we got his truck out. I'm gonna be using my scuba gear today. It's gonna to allow me to stay underwater for hopefully an hour and a half, if not more. And uh, what gear are you using today? Yeah, I got my tank, my fins. I kinda of gotta go through all my junk in the truck to find it, but uh, I think it'll be fun. You can already see right there, there's a ton of shopping carts on the side of the road. So people were definitely dumping stuff here. I've never dove this bridge before. Yeah. And every bridge in Atlanta has had a gun on it. Every bridge, yep. So every single bridge. So if we don't find a gun today, it's because we were cursed in the worst way possible. I think our good luck is coming back because we got the truck out of the mud. Yeah. Which is good luck. <laughs> so I think that'll carry on with us to the river. Hopefully so, man. So. <laughs> Let's gear up and get in the water. It's marked with a serial number. You could, yeah, you could find that. I could totally return that back, dude. Cool. 
That would be so cool. Maybe, should we give it to the police? Probably. Probably. They probably could do with it what they need to do. There's a outboard motor in a safe over there. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, I don't know where Adam is, but the sun's sitting right now, and I'm going to be sure that we give the police a call. All right, everybody, so we're going to give the police a call. Um, I got their phone number right here for their non-emergency. Um, we're calling because of that um, tombstone thing that I found, and then also that pistol. I found a pistol in the river as well, so we're going to give them a call and see if they'd like to come out here and retrieve it. Cobb County Police and Fire. Hi there, my name is Britton Lockhart. Um, I wanted to stress that this is not an emergency. My buddies and I were uh, diving in the Chattahoochee River. I came across a pistol and a tombstone. I guess grave it's like a, like a grave marker. And I wanted to hand that to you guys. I didn't know if it's something you guys would want. All right, have a good Bye. one. Bye-bye. You too. All right, so they picked up, they answered, and they mentioned that they are going to make their way out here. So we're just gonna wait for them right now. I think this is the best thing for us to do. All right, so we've got it right there for them. And we're gonna wait for them to come. How's it going, sir? Go. How's it going, sir? Come on, another gun and a, okay. and a grave marker. So you didn't find a grave site, it was just a grave marker? Well, it was the... Yeah, yeah. Just a marker? Yeah. Okay. Was that the same cop from that other time? Looks like it. I swear it's the same one. You should ask him. Thank you, officer. Mm -hmm. She is just the same instructions as last time as far as if you oh, okay. Were you, were you the one that came last time? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. They got you in the system now, man. Yeah, right? Sheesh. <laughs> I'm glad I got a case number though. That's pretty cool. That's why that's why he didn't need my ID. I was wondering why he didn't ask for Don't forget ID. it. Yeah, no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everybody. So as you can see, the cops are leaving right now. Um, they just, <laughs> it's funny because literally a couple of days ago is when we found that other gun. Yep. And then we come out today and the same police officer that came out for that last gun came out for this gun. So, That's pretty great. crazy man. <laughs> it was a great day of diving. I had so much fun with Adam Brown. If you'd like to check out his channel, I will have a link in the description below. Be sure to tell him that Britain sent you. Um, but man, we plan on going back to these bridges very soon, probably within the next couple weeks because they've, it, I mean, it's just been ridiculous. It's like every yeah. new bridge down here has new criminal evidence and we're never going to stop searching for that criminal evidence or anything that we can really find. So with that said, you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well. If you're a boss, we'll see you guys on the next one.